So the Call of Duty community is already breaked up about Black Ops 6, man. Something you cannot make it up. We haven't even seen anything. We haven't even seen anything. Just because we now have gameplay leaks about Black Ops 6, people are excited. People are letting themselves go right now. First of all, check this, okay? I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you. And once I show you this video clip, once I show you this video clip, this is going to change your reality. Like this video if you just hope that it's a good game. Dislike the video if, no, if you just don't want it to be a good game. All right, let's uh, get into this one. So this is actually big, right? A Black Ops 6 teaser has these numbers singled out in red writing yay oh, no way they're actually going to do it so right now a lot of, a lot more people are talking about the fact that we're gonna be having this mission in the game you know the tower situation somebody also made this rendition i believe this is made by math chief right absolutely crazy that people are making this one <laughs> up as well and we had a lot of teases before this one a lot of gameplay leaks about this mission as well i will link you a video about this uh, towards the end as well but apparently there is more but wait Gaming more and they have confirmed that black ops 6 will reportedly have two round based maps at launch and i came out and i said that that's it brad only two maps after four years of <laughs> after four years of development now don't get me wrong okay whoa this is actually good we're getting round based maps that's a w but but two maps and you guys gotta understand that, like, by the time this game comes out, it's gonna be four years in development. These seconds have billions and billions of dollars. These seconds are under Microsoft. Three trillion dollar company. You seconds can only pull out two maps. Is that all what you got? You seconds crazy. And a lot of these uh, people, the Call of Duty fans, they're taking it from the back without any lube whatsoever. Try giving the people what they want. Fire emoji. Fire emoji. Four months, uh, yeah, in four months, looks like that he's finally gonna be seeing that friendly UAV online. So, yeah, in four months, he's gonna be seeing friendly UAV online. W slash he be like saying two. Uh, man says only two. The cherry on top of this game would be custom emblems and co op campaign. Wow, wow. So, th this is this is a situation about Call of Duty fans right now. We're getting excited over dumb stuff, man. Excited over two maps, guys. Two maps. What the hell? And who's gonna tell them that there have been leaks about the multiplayer maps being remaster maps? Bruh. Being remaster maps. But check this out. Roll it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've been able to say this, but prestige is key potentially with black ops 6 we've had uh -huh. a lot of rumors coming out today surrounding black ops 6 from bob network uk i'll okay. put a link Many to his account Many down sided. below so you can check him out we've had some leaks slash rumors oh, about the classic prestige system potentially returning yeah omnidirectional movement and even some zombie related stuff so sit uh -oh. back relax enjoy uh -oh. drop a like on this video if you do yeah like let's video, start man. off with the I, I, listen, listen man like i hope this game is good bro just one good game treyarch one good game and i have to agree that treyarch's track record has been pretty good so far Bruh. right like that even like their worst performing games uh, would be like black ops war and black ops cold war they were miles better than infinity tart i have to agree but like two maps guys Come on, man. Prestige is coming back. W! I like that! I wanted to see Prestige back, but... But people are getting excited. Call of Duty fans are getting excited just because Prestige is coming back. Th this is the current scene of Call of Duty. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? But there's more. But wait! There is more. There are more gameplay leaks as well. Wait for Classic it. Classic Prestige mode. It is rumored to return with Black Ops 6. Unfortunately, this is something that we've heard in the past when yeah. it comes to games that are, you know, in the process of leaking or being revealed, and it just hasn't come true. The yeah. last time oh, Treyarch man. made Call of Duty with Black Ops Cold War, I feel like they gave us the best bang for our buck when it came to the yeah, seasonal yeah, prestige. Yeah. It's mainly due to the inclusion of the prestige shop, which I really, really Really hope returns with black ops 6 the yeah, prestige yeah. shop allowed you to earn keys and those keys then can unlock classic prestige icons blueprints calling cards classic calling cards all of these things came together in a really nostalgic bundle wow. and i love the fact that there was actually a reason to get out and play even though yeah, you yeah, may yeah, fair, have fair, already fair. hit the max prestige you could still go to level 1000 in every season which would give you plenty of keys to unlock plenty of items within the shop with a possible yeah, return yeah. of classic prestige, that would mean we would have 
10 to 15 to maybe 20 prestiges at the launch of the game. And that means you wouldn't have to wait till season one or two in order to make it all the way. You could go all the way within the first couple of weeks of the game being out if you really, really wanted to. That's why things like the race to prestige were huge spectacles in the past True. because you had multiple Oh man, I remember like the, the day the game would come out, Suckers would be playing like 24 seven. There used to be like 24 seven streams, right? Where they would switch partners and they would switch. Oh shit, okay, well, what am I saying? Yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. That's not a different air, okay? <laughs> Pump the brakes, okay? But I remember, like, there used to be, like, teams, for example, like, FaZe, Optics, they would run streams, and then they would be like, okay, you play the game for eight hours, okay, you tired, go get your coffee, and get your ass back after, after that. So, like, Sukkus would be doing, like, 12-hour shifts, playing the game, trying to be the prestige master, and all that, and ever since they remove it, like, Sukkus are like, okay, well, uh, I don't wanna do that. No, I don't wanna do that. So, now nah, it's a good thing. Prestige is coming back, that's good. round base Zombies maps are coming back, that's good. Good, but but only two maps only two prestige is coming back and people are being excited about it and guys here's the thing though i'm a, i also think this is good but people are getting excited based on the features that we had 10 years ago these stuff has removed it for the sake of it these stuff has removed the features that we had for 10 plus years and now these things are bringing it back and everybody's like breaked up right now it's okay, I get it. But like, we should ask for content, okay? Like, show us the content. I guess they're gonna show us very soon, so not too worried about it. But but my point over here is that we should be excited based on the content that we see and not like all of this, which is, uh, yeah, this, this this is cherry on top. Like, this, is a, this should be their day, th this was their day one, and it should be here because this is what makes Call of Duty. These are like the core pillars of Call of Duty, but everybody's kind of excited. Yeah, everybody's selling out right now. Everybody's like, yeah, okay. Prestige is coming back. Wow, wow. Best game ever. Best game ever. Uh, I saw a comment, right? Like, somebody said this, if I can find it. Yeah, this Call of Duty might have potential to be one of the best Call of Duties released in the past 8 to 12 years. Something that we say every year, right? Something that we say every year. To Charlie, I'm gonna nut. Here we go. Yeah, suckers are excited. Like, two maps, guys. Two maps teams live streaming and racing around the clock trying to be the first Ooh. player to hit max rank it was pretty cool to see all that happening and it would be awesome to see it happen again Wait for the it. one caveat to doing a classic prestige though is resetting everything essentially and starting from scratch that was the one thing that people didn't necessarily like and I think yeah. they worked out the kinks of this in later games with prestige tokens allowing you to carry things over. And on top yeah, of that, yeah, yeah. you get to keep your challenges, like camo challenges and barracks. I, I mean, listen, man, prestige or seasonal ranks all day, every day, son. Like the video if you agree. Challenges. So whatever you're working on doesn't get reset. It's basically just your, your loadout. Your loadout gets reset. Your perks get reset. And... I don't know how people in 2024 would take that, especially when you consider Warzone being such a big player in customization. Yeah. I don't know if people would want to re-unlock the their dog. weapons over again, which is what made the current... F, the, wa F the Warzone, man. Like, yeah, Warzone's cool, whatever, but like, multiplayer, make multiplayer great again, damn it! Make multiplayer good again like it used to be back in the days, bruh! The Call of Duty cycle so favorable for so many people out there if they are somehow able to disconnect this specific portion from warzone allowing everyone to keep all of their unlocks over there on warzone then absolutely i don't think there's going to be a huge issue but for a lot of players who don't want to necessarily have to rank up every single time i could definitely see them not wanting to prestige at all as soon as we learn more about this if it's actually a real thing i'll make sure to keep you all posted right here on the channel the next leak is about the movement uh -oh. that's coming uh -oh. to Black Ops 6. And when I say that, we're not talking about jetpacks or anything of the sort. Apparently, Black Ops 6 is going to allow players to dive in all directions. And this functionality has been referred to several times as omnidirectional movement. The best comparison that we have to this right now oh, yeah, is the clip that you're seeing right here with Max Bumble Payne Club. diving left and right and backwards. This is something that we've seen in that series forever. So being able to- I believe like something like that was also in Battlefield 5 too, right? Uh, we, 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 we would also be able to dive backwards as well, okay? Like, yeah, I wanna see that. Yeah, wow, new technology, innovation, wow, wow, wow! Whoa! 
Yeah, it, it's like one of those things. <laughs> okay, I'm joking around. I'm joking around. But no, okay, yeah, seems cool. Seems cool. I hope it works. I hope it works out. But only two masks, guys. Like, you serious? Only two zombie masks? You serious? To see this in Call of Duty, especially in a first person perspective, it's going to be pretty interesting. Allowing players let's go for two likes on the video for two maps guys first to sprint in all directions and on top of that have the ability to Dive backwards forwards that could create some really really cool moments And yeah. I'm really hoping that in these moments we can also utilize equipment So diving and throwing a grenade diving and throwing a throwing knife diving okay. backwards and throwing a throwing knife Damn, I have a feeling that if yeah, my boys expectations really high Let's talk about the two zombie man. So yeah, this one this is the cherry on top and, and you're not gonna believe this Okay, we're hearing that one of those maps is gonna be transit remaster <laughs> That, that's what we're hearing. That's what we're hearing. May or may not be true. I, 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 I mean, I'm down to seeing like transit remaster, but as long as that doesn't take the spot of these two maps, right? Yeah, transit remaster. Keep it an extra, bruh. So in return, give us three maps. Come on, dog. Like they're gonna be minimum three maps, bro. What y'all suck is doing for four years? Y'all suckers have been like taking it from the back. Is that what 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 you doing? What were you doing? Like for for four years, what were you doing? Smelling each other farts, gas, uh, gaslighting your fans, uh, hyping each other in the in, in, in the studios in Urdu. I would like to say, "Wahan pe chhati ka dud piye rahe the pancho, kutte deo bachyo, kuch to kar do na nikara pancho, nihariyo gandu hai, gandu hai pancho sare." I'll keep you posted here on the channel. The final thing that I want to talk about is a leak that just came out probably about yeah, 30 minutes ago as of recording this, one, this yeah. video. Apparently, we're going to be getting two zombie maps oh, at wow. the launch of this game. And they're supposed to be round-based maps. I don't know where they're going to be going with it. I'm sure we're going to learn more about it in the later seasons of Modern Warfare 3. Imagine one of them is like Transit Remaster, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm down with it. Listen, I'm down with it. Transit Remaster is much better than all of the trash maps and trash zombies content that we have been getting these past years. I do agree with that. But like, I want to also see new content, damn it. I want to see new content, damn it, because right now it's like hey, one map is going to be transfer remaster and the other one is going to be new. Bruh. Obviously, they've been showing us a lot of the story through cutscenes, but we really haven't had. And, and people are also apparently saying that back in the days we also had two maps, so what's the big deal? Well, back in the days we would get Treyarch's Call of Duty within two years. These things are spending four years making this game, damn it. You see the difference? And right now they're like billions, they're worth billions and billions of dollars. In fact, like trillion, if you're gonna count in Microsoft. So only two maps, only two maps. You guys serious? much gameplay updates in regard to modern warfare zombies but that's all tying into the overarching story and i think that it's very very important for them to knock it out of the park before we oh, jump is. into this new generation of uh, and, and sure like a lot of people would be cool with two maps only if those two maps are actually really good but these maps need to be good though the, yeah like these maps needs to be truly good truly replayable Easter eggs galore, okay? Good Easter eggs, main Easter egg, and smaller Easter eggs as well. Good for high round players as well. Good for training zombies. Good for camping. Because, you, you know, like, there are people that some days they want to camp in zombies. Other days they want to uh, play with other uh, solo or play with friends or train zombies and go for high rounds or not do the Easter egg or do the Easter egg. They're all types of gameplay players. They're all types of zombie players, right? Something that Black Ops 3 did. Uh, yeah, that's something that Black Ops 3 zombies did well. Black Ops 2 zombies black ops one zombies as well yeah we used to we, ha uh, we used to have like really good stuff but then it's like these seconds like, all of a sudden started struggling to add uh, a, a pausing button yeah how many times we heard that they 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 didn't add a pausing button oh wow they forgot to add a pausing button oh wow they di didn't know how to add a pausing button uh, decades of developments decades of call of duties but they forgot to add pausing button yeah truly mistakes were made guys check out this video on the screen because apparently activision has blacklisted these suckers and these homies from call of duty events guys. just because they said this just because they said this check out this video on the screen on the last though don't check out that video don't check out that video